thank you so much for speaking at our Democracies Being Disrupted event this evening. There are a couple of really high level points that you highlighted and I thought maybe you might want to share them with others that couldn't attend tonight. Can you summarise really the key reasons that you think democracy is being disrupted? Sure. Well, um, I think the first reason why democracy is being disrupted is that we're in the midst of a system change. The whole system, political, economic and social system, is changing. That happens periodically, maybe every 100 years or so. It's happening right now. And when you get a shake up the system, you get disruption of the political process as well, which is one reason why democracy is being disrupted. I think a second reason it's related uh, is that technological innovation also causes disruption. We're seeing a lot of that in the current era and probably the most critical technological change in terms of disruption of democracy is the information revolution, which is not just about the internet, but it's also about social, social media, which has been transformational in some ways and enriched us in many ways, but the dark side is that it's also shaken up the system, uh, created multiple voices, and we've lost a little bit of the shared uh, experiences and values we've got because people are often their silos. So that's the second reason. I think thirdly, when you get a change in the economic system, you get losers as well as winners. A lot of the losers, i.e. Donald Trump's Rust Belt supporters in the United States, feel alienated and disenfranchised uh, from the political process. They don't feel their politicians represent them. They don't feel they have a voice. So that's another, another reason, I think. And, and finally, I would say um, just the sheer growth of populations and the movement of people into cities has put enormous stresses on our infrastructure, on our budgets, and on our capacity to provide a better lifestyle for people. And they're all screaming and shouting about that and they're not happy. So I think that's also a factor. What are the democratic opportunities here? How can governments govern in the 21st century? Yeah. Well, Let's go back to technology, okay? Clearly there are a lot of technological innovations that are going to allow people to participate more directly in democracy. We've kind of lost that a bit. So uh, whether it's um, electronic voting, uh, whether it's people having more of a say in the issues and, and what their politicians are doing, uh, more direct feedback between the people and their representatives, maybe different kinds of politicians in the future. Uh, that are more representative of, of society, Australia, as it is today, because unfortunately, as you know, our politicians are less representative than they were 30, 40 years ago. That's a bad thing. So we need to turn that around. So I think there have been some great ideas about how that might be done. Um, and then there's also the issue of values, about, uh, you know, you, how do you restore trust in the integrity of your process, your politicians and also your public institutions because we've lost a lot of that over the last probably 20 years. Everything from the banks to the Catholic Church as well as our parliamentarians. So rebuilding trust, uh, how do you do that? How do you restore a sense of trust? Um, that's not an easy thing but there are, I've heard ways in which that could be done or ways we could go about that. So I think it's been a terrific, terrific discussion, a lot of input from the audience and I'm sure you've got lots of new ideas about how to do this better in the future. I think, um, I, well I hope our governments do and I certainly am excited about applying some of the ideas that I've got and um, yeah I think it, there's a real opportunity here to strengthen our institutions, uh, for now at least. And I think the final thing I'd say is, look the system is not broken, it needs work We've still got a pretty healthy democracy in Australia. It's probably one of the best forms of governance in the world, so we need to remember the good things about our system. You know, we don't need to sort of trash the whole thing, but we, we do need to have a bit of uh, surgery on parts that are not working too well, and I'm sure we can do that. I wholeheartedly agree. I'm not a revolutionary. I'm an evolutionary. I think we're evolving and we're utilising the tools and resources available to us to game the system, and that's also a wonderful opportunity for us to improve it. So. Um, hopefully we get an opportunity to do some more of that over the next few few years. Good luck with that and I'm an incrementalist as, as well. I'm not a revolutionary, <laughs> believe me, it doesn't work.